Um, I'm a plant pathologist by training. And so what, I, what that basically means is I try to look for genes within plants that confer resistance against microbes. Um, and then an additional part of that is actually figuring out the molecular genetics behind that uh, resistance. Plants are really amazing creatures. And so when you think about it, they, they are born to stay and live in the exact same spot and they live for decades, for hundreds of years, for thousands of years. In fact, I think the oldest plant in the United States is a, a, a little more than 5,000 years, and it has been sitting in the exact same spot for that long. And what's fascinating to me is how do they survive for that long without, you know, with all the bugs eating on them, you know, all the insects chewing up on them. And what's amazing about that is, is the whole genomic content that they bring. So they are pre-made to survive for long periods of time at the exact same spot. So what's exciting about my research is the ability to go in those genomes and actually find individual genes that explain why plants can be so long-lived and be successful in living at the same spot for so long. What it does is it, it's, it's going to give me five years of freedom to run wild with my wildest ideas. <laughs> and, and that's usually not, not the case in research. We are usually really tight on funding where most of our money uh, is driven towards specific uh, questions that we need to address. So we usually don't get leeway to explore some of these really new ex and exciting areas of science that we, 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 we uncover as we do research. I think the, the, the thing with science is once you get your brain going, it's really difficult to stop. <laughs> it's, it's not like a day job that, that you leave at the office. Your science stays in your head, and so it's constantly new ideas and new ways of thinking about what you've been seeing during the day. And usually, unfortunately, for some reason, that always happens at night. One of that, uh, the key attributes is the ability to form multidisciplinary teams of expertise where I work with chemical engineers, I work with computational scientists, I work with uh, nuclear physicists and that's something that you normally don't have access to if you work at an academic institution where people really inter interact more within discipline rather than outside disciplines. And what that does is it actually brings more value to your research than when you're working solely within your own discipline.